Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. It's believed that John Gilligan, a veteran Irish crime boss, has been arrested in Alicante on suspicion of drug trafficking. Spanish police arrested Gilligan and six others on Thursday in a commercial building in Alicante in an international operation to break up the sale and supply of drugs in Ireland and in the UK. A number of drugs and a firearm were seized in this operation and checks are being made to determine if the gun seized may be the same firearm that was used to murder crime journalist Veronica Guerin in 1996. So the gun was found in the garden of a Costa Blanca premises with experts investigating if it is the same Colt Python revolver used by a hitman to gun down the journalist in 1996. So Veronica was shot dead in broad daylight in her red Opel Calibra when it was stopped at lights on a dual carriageway. So Spanish police also added that their detectives and the Garda had also received intelligence that guns were about to be delivered by a gang in Spain to their associates in Ireland. However, this operation was foiled and three guns loaded with ammunition and ready for use were seized. And the seizure of those weapons appears to have occurred on the day before this week's police searches in Spain. So Garda sources have stated when ballistic testing was conducted on the firearm by the Spanish police, it would be cross-checked against the technical firearms evidence gathered during Veronica's murder inquiry in the 1990s. And the Spanish National Police has specifically referenced the possible link between the gun and the journalist's murder. They went on to say a revolver has been found buried in a garden of the same make and model as the one used in the murder of the journalist that took place in Dublin in 1996. The Spanish agents are conducting negotiations with the Irish police to determine if it was the same weapon. However, Garda sources have stated that while it was not impossible the gun used in the killing had laid buried in Spain where it was found on Wednesday, it would be highly unusual for a gang to retain such a weapon for such a long time. Gilligan and five other people were all arrested on Wednesday in Alicante as part of a pre-planned operation by the Spanish National Police which was supported by the Garda and the UK's National Crime Agency. The search operation saw armed police storm Gilligan's house where he was staying and was part of a wider investigation to criminals using the postal service to send drugs to the United Kingdom and Ireland. Upon a search of the property, a number of firearms and drugs were found. They went on to say those arrested, led by a well-known Irish criminal, were part of a violent group of drug and arms traffickers that specialised in sending illegal merchandise from Spain to the United Kingdom and Ireland through parcels. The Spanish police added the operation began last year when it was discovered that in the province of Alicante, an organisation led by a well-known Irish criminal had settled. They said this person has been investigated in the past for various crimes and had even served 17 years in prison for importing large quantities of drugs. Alerted by this situation, the agents contacted other police forces and thanks to international police cooperation, the rest of the gang members were identified. The Spanish police said the group tried to evade detection by hiding their drugs in postage parcels with boxes of children's dolls also discovered at the address where Gilligan was arrested. In addition, and thanks to the intelligence work carried out in Spain in collaboration with Irish agents, it was learnt that an arms delivery was going to be carried out in Ireland by members of organisations settled there. The operation finally allowed the seizure of three pistols loaded and ready to use. The Spanish police added that the six arrested on Wednesday and the investigation that had been ongoing for some time into the suspects had culminated in the total dismantling of the criminal organisation. So as well as the arrests and drugs and guns seized on Wednesday, Spanish police also seized two vehicles, 10 mobile phones, postal and financial documents and a kit for mixing and vacuum packing drugs. Gilligan was released from Paul Leash prison after serving 17 years in jail, most of that for drug trafficking and some for threatening to kill an officer. So Gilligan was one of the biggest traffickers to ever come out of the Republic of Ireland. However, when his gang murdered Miss Guerin in 1996, the gang imploded with some members going on the run abroad and others being arrested in Ireland. While Gilligan was never convicted of that murder, he was put on trial for drug smuggling and one of the longest drug-related prison sentences in the history of the state was imposed on him. After his release in February 2014, Gilligan was shot and wounded at his brother's house. And two years ago, Gilligan was arrested as he attempted to board a plane at Belfast International Airport, which was banned for Alicante with €20,000 in cash which was found in bundles in his luggage. However, that case against him was dropped. 
So a Garda spokesperson today said we are aware of the press notification by Spanish National Police in relation to the arrest of an Irish citizen and ongoing investigations. And Garda Shiohana is working closely with the Spanish National Police in relation to this investigation. So that's some big news coming out where the same type of gun used to murder Veronica has been found during John Gilligan's arrest in Spain. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.